Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today for the hairstyle challenge, I'm trying a new wig. I literally just got it on Amazon. They overnighted it for some reason, so I already have it. So I'm like, let's film it right now, straight out the bag. But before I even open the wig, let's just prep the hair. This is freshly washed. I'm going to just add in a leave-in conditioner. You could do a deep conditioner and like deep condition under your wigs, but I'm just gonna do leave-in today. If you do decide to put a deep conditioner on your curls under a wig, just be careful with certain like protein treatments. You don't wanna leave certain protein treatments on your hair for too long. So I would just stick with like a leave-in conditioner. That way your curls are staying nice and moisturized under your wig. Now today's wig is curly and curly wigs like the one I just got is usually very beginner friendly because with curly hair, it's nice and big, so it's easy to hide your hair underneath. So if you're like me and you don't have any braiding skills, like you can't braid to your scalp, can't cornrow like me, it's okay. You just want your hair to be as flat as possible, so I have it in the middle part. The part doesn't even matter because this wig should have bangs, so you're not gonna see any scalp at all, which makes it even easier to blend it with your hair because you don't want it to blend anything really. So I'm going to just do a normal braid. Split my hair into three sections and then braid. Do all you guys know how to braid? Like do I need to do a video on this step? Like you just always grab the middle, take the middle, switch, take the middle, switch, take the middle, switch. That's how I braid. I know some people braid like underhand, but I don't, I don't know about all that. <laughs> this is how I do it. Um, just so my hair can be flat. But if you know how to braid to your scalp, please do that. By all means, you are more talented than I am and it'll be even sleeker. I also do this even when I have straight wigs because that's all I can do. And I just put all the hair at the nape of my neck. But because this wig is so big, it really shouldn't matter what your hair is doing underneath. Side one, side two. Braids are done. Now we're just gonna put them up and away. Do I have any bobby pins? Why are bobby pins always missing? They're never where they're supposed to be. Okay, I'm just gonna use my really pretty gold GSQ ones, even though it doesn't need to be that fancy. Okay, before I even put my hair up, let's open the wig. Let's see what she looks like. Now this wig in particular, you see, straight up from Amazon. I hope it's in here. It'd be pretty embarrassing if I tried to do this video and it's like a toaster. Whew, it's a wig. <laughs> okay, so this wig has been in my cart for months. Like I just didn't know if I wanted to pull the trigger because the example photos weren't like giving what they were supposed to give. Sometimes I put like a picture of a photo with actual curly hair and they try to act like the wig is her hair. It's like, no, that's her hair. Like I have some friends where their photo was on, on Amazon. I don't even know if they know. <laughs> so I wasn't sure until my girlfriend on Instagram, Slim Roche, posted this wig and she made it look fire and I was instantly sold. So that's why we're here. Had to get it for myself. So this says this is the queen's choice. Open the package and take out the wig. Shake wig vigorously, okay? According to your liking, trim the length of the hair. Use a hair comb to make your hair fluffy. Okay, so this wig is synthetic. It was very affordable. Oh, comes with a wig cap. Comes with some hoop earrings, okay? It has the whole vibe included. And some random love myself tattoos and some, <laughs> what? What are these, cats, lambs? Some random tattoos. Okay, so I will make sure to link all this in the description box, but this is from Anna's Soul Store. This is their 16 inch curly wig, dark brown Afro bomb curly wig with bangs, synthetic fiber, glueless, long, kinky, curly hair. So I got dark brown, 16 inches. And it was actually on sale. It's usually $32.99 and I got it for $28.99 on Amazon. So 29 bucks, much cheaper than a real wig with real hair. Let's take it out. Whoa, that's a fun color. I wasn't sure if I should do black or like this kind of auburn brown, but here we are. And the purpose of me getting a curly wig when I have curly hair is because I'm hoping that this will scratch the itch of me always wanting to cut my hair and bring my bangs back. I love how my hair looks with my bangs, but bangs are work. And my hair is really long right now and I do like the length, but I do miss the volume. So 
maybe, just maybe, this wig will satisfy <laughs> my big curly hair bang dreams. Okay, shaking it out. Definitely gotta shake it. Get your arm workout in. Isn't this funny? Like, this is so normal for curly hair. Like, if you have straight hair, you don't do this kind of stuff. But we do this to our real hair. <laughs> Why are we like this? All right, where's the front? Where's the bangs? It has one clip. Oh no, it has two clips on the sides. Uh, no clip in the front. And it has the adjustable loops in the back to make it tighter to fit your large or small head. So it looks like a bra strap and you just loop it in under these so that it's as tight as you want it to be. <sighs> okay, so this is the front. Yeah, she might need some work. When my friend did it, she ended up like cutting the bangs and shaping her face and it looked so much better. So let's see what I do because I get really nervous with scissors. I just, I just don't want to mess it up. Okay, let's just put it on and see what happens. Let's put the braids up, duh. All I do is just wrap it around here, pin it here, and then I go underneath, pin like this, and I pin these down. This is exactly how it looks on the back, especially when I have my straight wigs. Because this is curly, I could literally pin it up top, and you probably won't see it because this is some big hair. And these alley pins are not for securing, they're for looks. Oh, they're nice and sturdy though. Oh, that's a vibe. Should we just end the tutorial here? Away. Okay, and this one, I actually can connect it like that. Do I want the wig cap? Well, let's do it. Let's just keep the braids intact so I don't have my bobby pins down here. Now the point of a wig cap should be to like, be like your scalp. This isn't my hair or scalp color, but whatever. Sometimes you can get black ones, sometimes you can get netted ones. Starting in the back and pulling it forward. There we go. All that hair is secured. Now let's put it on. Here we go. Starting it in the back, pulling it around and bring it to the front. Now feel for the two clips and try to pin it under the wig cap. Ooh, that feels secure. Oh, here we are. Hello. Oh, I kind of like the color. All right, where's everybody supposed to be? <laughs> okay, this is not what we want. <laughs> but I'm gonna fluff it out so that it could have a better shape. And we'll figure out where everyone's supposed to go. Obviously, if it has some, some frizz to it, it's gonna make it look more realistic because anytime you see someone with like perfect ringlets and like zero frizz, it just doesn't look real. It's just not a realistic expectation. It smells kind of funny. What is this part doing? Is this supposed to be the, is this supposed to be the bang? I don't know. I don't know about this. It looks so good on my friend. I gotta figure it out. Go under here and shake it like I would my own curls. And back. I really don't know where this hair is supposed to, even supposed to live. Okay, so the volume is there. I wonder if this is a different one that my friend got. I might've got the wrong one. <laughs> I think hers was a different color. It kinda goes with my burgundy I got on today. Just gonna keep zhuzhing it. We're getting somewhere. This length is really fun though. Okay, now these little bangs aren't popping. I want them to be more full. So I'm gonna pull this part forward and I'm gonna raise it to, yeah, that's gonna be better. Let's just see. Ooh, that'll make a better shape. Let me get my scissors. <laughs> okay, got the scissors. Let's do this. I just don't, where is this chunk supposed to go? It's like asking me to cut it because it's just right up in the middle. Let's just begin. I can't even see. So we're gonna go a little bit at a time. I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just gonna try to make Donatella proud. Okay. That's so why I don't cut my own hair. I get so nervous. I'm just gonna do a little at a time because, you know, if we always get to add more. Okay. Ooh, I can start to see now. 
Why is this part so frizzy? Might need to hide you in the back. Nope, maybe we need you. Still need this to be a little shorter. We're gonna do a curl by curl cutting method. Oh, what are you doing? And I am cutting at an angle because it just makes me feel more professional. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I just don't like this whole piece, to be honest. Look at that. This is a frizz ball. Let's try to elongate this. This is what I do with my real curls. I kind of just comb it down. Top is looking pretty cute. Now my friend also like did these side pieces to frame her face and it did wonders. What did she do? I think she just grabbed these pieces and kind of made them shorter. It's actually pretty cute. Oh, wait a minute. We are getting somewhere. What side is this? This side is bigger. Wow. Oh, the full hair. I miss it. My hair used to be like this. It would never stay this big. It had to fluff it every hour, but it was kind of like this. When you're cutting curly hair, it's like pruning. It's like pruning a bush to perfection. Not me surprising myself. <laughs> wow. How fun! Why is the side shorter? Okay, let's stretch you out. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I think we found it. I think it's a whole mood now. Guys, if you haven't tried a wig, just, it, it's so fun. It's so fun. Now I have my bangs without cutting my hair. Okay, at this point it looks really cute, but I am gonna grab my mirror and let's check out the back first of all. Okay. Nice, curly, can't see any of my actual hair. Now when I look this way, you can see my face. That means I did a pretty good job at framing this side. But if I do this side, you can't really see my face. So I think I'm gonna cut this so that it kind of frames my face more. So I think it's this piece is the problem. Just cut this off. Yeah, that's better. Nice. Look at me. Look at me cutting things. You know, all real hairstylists might be, you know, cringing in their seats, but for us amateurs, I think it's, it's pretty fire. So if you guys want your very own curly cut by me, um, I'll put a booking link in the description box. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not cutting anyone's hair, but I do love this wig. I think it came out really cute. If you need quick, big volume and you don't have time to actually wash your hair, this is a look that could easily look like my hair. Like, I feel like people might have to think twice about asking if it's a wig. They shouldn't ask anyways, but I feel like it's a little bit more believable. And for like, what, 30 bucks? Not even two day shipping, overnight shipping for some reason? It's a vibe. It's the vibe that I'm here for. But most importantly, it's giving me my bang dreams. I miss my bangs. My actual hair is really fine, so it would always like fall flat and I would always be doing this to fluff it up. But because this is synthetic hair, it's just staying. Like it's just a permanent volume that I don't feel like is gonna drop. So if you wanna get a curly wig for yourself, I will link it in the description box. This is considered dark brown. There's also like a black one I was considering. There's a blonde one I was considering. There's even a purple ombre that I kinda have my eye on. But if you get one for yourself, make sure you tag me so I can see how you look in your big curly hair. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Oh, let's put the hoops on. Let's put the hoops on to complete the look, shall we? Oh, how did they know? That is what the look was missing. You gotta need, you need the hoops. You need the hoops.